Hello everyone! As we delve deeper into website optimization with Odoo, one crucial aspect is ensuring that our visitors can effortlessly navigate through our content. Chiara, have you heard of the three-click rule? Sure! So the three-click rule suggests that all information on our website should be available within three mouse clicks. Exactly! That's exactly it! This underscores the importance of organizing our website efficiently with clear menus and relevant buttons. Luckily, Odoo website offers a suite of features to enhance navigation and user experience. Let's explore this together. So here we are on our Brussels Spas website, and here are three types of services that we offer. But they are missing a link. You see, we can't click on anything. So let's create one. I just go to Edit, and to add a link, I just select any text or image. For example, here I want it to be on More Info, and I click on this little button over here, which is called Insert or Edit Link. Now, in Odoo, there are three primary types of links that you can use to direct users. The first ones are internal links. These redirect within your website. You can simply type backslash, and then you can follow with the title of your page or like a keyword. For example, I wanted to go, if I wanted to go to contact us, I could just type in contact, and it's already finding it for me. Next, we have another type of link, which is an external one. This leads outside your website. All you have to do is add, again, um, a link by clicking here, and add the website URL. And the third one and final one are the anchor links. Now, these navigate to specific sections within a page. Now, before we can add an anchor link, we need to create an anchor by selecting any element. Let's just take this one randomly. And then we can uh, click over here on Create a link to target this section. Now, this has created an anchor. And all I have to do now is go back to where I want to put the link. So here on More Info, I'll add the link. And to add for the internal links, we add a backspace, uh, backslash, as I said. And for the anchors, we add a hashtag. And here we see that this one has been created. Now, you can also specify for those three types of links whether they open in a new tab or not over here. And that is to your discretion to see if it's best for the user convenience or not. Let's say that this one opens and the other ones do not. Actually, no, because this is the anchor. I'm not going to open this one, but this one that is an external one, I shall open in a new window. Now, uh, each link can be customized in appearance. You can make them, for example, if I choose this one, you can make them into buttons. If I click here on Custom, I can choose the color. For example, let's take hmm, this one. I can change the size, small or large. Let's do a large button. That's way too big, so let's go for medium. And the shape. You have a default shape, but I'll go for hmm, outline rounded. No, I'll go for fill plus rounded. Now, we can configure shortcuts for these buttons, because you see we have also primary or secondary uh, buttons. If I just put link, it's not uh, in a button mode anymore. And these shortcuts, I can configure them in the theme tab in the color presets. See, over here, if I take them, then here I can change uh, my primary buttons and my secondary button. Now, let's see this in action. And I'll show you quickly uh, what, how the anchor link works. So if you click on it, it takes us to where we defined the anchor. Now, let's talk about menus. If you click on the header menu, we can uh, customize it with several templates in this list. We can also edit each item of the header um, for clarity and relevance. For example, home, I don't really want it to be home, I want it to be Brussels sprout. And that's it, that's easy. Now let's click save because I want to show you something else. If you go in site and then you choose menu editor, here you have all the menu items on your header. We can change the order of them, just by dragging and dropping. We can remove some by clicking on the trash can, or we can add a menu item. I want to add a block menu item. Now this one uh, will be up brusselssprouts.com slash block. This is the URL to which it would lead when we click on it. And I don't want it to be here, I'll put it here. Actually, the good thing is that there is also something that's called submenu. And that means that if I put this item 
to the right, I just shift it to the right, it becomes a sub-menu of news, which means that news will become a drop-down menu with other menu items. You can create as many sub-menus as you want, and you can put as many items in a sub-menu. This is how it works. So I put blog into news, and now news is a drop-down menu. I click on it, and blog appears here. Now, another menu uh, type is called mega menu, which is here. If we add it, and we shall call it, um, for example, itineraries. There you go. And it is here, and we want to put, put it against, uh, next to help. We see that it appears here, and instead of being a drop down, it is a bigger menu with a lot of menu uh, items that are organized in columns. Now, again, so just like the header, this one, if you just select it, can also be customized with various templates. And you just have to click on one, and then you can go inside of it and modify it as you want. Last, let's take a look at the footer. Now, the footer functions similarly to the header, but typically showcases less critical information. You can modify its appearance exactly like the header by choosing among the templates. You can just uh, customize any item by clicking on it. And you can customize your social media icons. Uh, here you can add or remove the social media icons that you want to have. You can specify a good link. You can change the size, the color. Like, as always, you can customize anything you want in Odoo. And there you have it. You, know, you now know how to create intuitive navigation paths that keep users engaged and that guide them easily to your website, making sure they never feel lost. That's it for this video. Join me in the next one for another tutorial on Odoo website. Bye-bye.